Welcome to Treasure Transmission Seed Podcast, advocating freedom in every sphere of life, spiritual, emotional, mental, marital, and financial. Now, let's hear the host, Coach DTO. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Today we'll be discussing the power of vision in your recovery. The power of vision in starting a new life. Arriving at the prophetic new life. According to Isaiah 60 verse 1. That means you have to see it before you start building on it. Creating a clearly defined picture of what you want in life, where you're going, how to arrive there. What outcome, if I may ask you, do you desire? This picture should be so vivid that you have seen it in your imagination. You can you can feel it. You can you can you can sense it. You can feel it. It should energize you even right now. Visualize the end at the beginning because God is the one that declares the end from the beginning. In Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18, it says, when, where, when there is no clear prophetic vision, people quickly wander astray. But when you follow the revelation of the word, every bliss fills your soul. Where there is no vision, people perish. Proverbs 29 18. That means people wander, they stumble, they are destroyed. There is wastage, there is chaos, there is disorderliness. People are cheated out of their destiny. There's no fulfillment and there is frustration. Why must you have a clear vision? According to Dr. Mines Morrow of Blessed Memory, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. What is worse? You won't even know when you have arrived. Joseph would not have known that he had not arrived while he was in prison because he was still a leader there but because of his dream because of the vision that he had unless you have a de- definite idea of where you want to go the chances that you will get there are questionable the power of vision vision is the source and hope of life the greatest gift ever given to mankind is not the gift of sight but the gift of vision sight is a function of the eyes Vision is a function of the heart. The eyes that look are common, but eyes that see are real. Nothing noteworthy on heart was ever done without vision. No invention or development or great feat was ever accomplished without the power of vision. And I tell you, no recovery can take place without vision. The secret of the recovery of Jacob's stolen and diverted blessings by his uncle Laban was the power of looking and seeing. You can read Genesis chapter 30 and also Genesis 31 in verse 10 to 12. It says, And I had a dream at the time the flock conceived. I looked up and I saw that the rams which mated with the she goats were streaked, speckled, and spotted. She saw, he, he saw it before it happened. And the angel of God said to me in the dream, Jacob, and I said, Here I am. And he said, Look up and see. All the ram which made with a flock are streaked and speckled and mottled, for I've seen all that Laban does to you. So vision makes suffering and disappointment bearable. Vision generates, because you are hopeful, you know that it's just temporary. Vision generates hope amid despair and distress. Vision inspires the depressed and motivates the discouraged. Vision is the basis of motivation and courage. Vision powers perseverance and persistence because you know one day, one day, one day, one day. Okay. Vision is the energy of progress. Vision, you know, without vision, there's disorganization, there's loss of control, there's loss of self discipline, there's aimless, misdirected life. We are just here and there, wandering all over. That shall not be a portion. I pray today that God will open your eyes and my eyes that we see clearly in the mighty name of Jesus and we will recover, we will take back all that has been stolen even from us 
in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we go, I want to remind you of the books that we have. New, I want to add one to it. New song provoking prayers. And also remember... A flame reigniting the passion and pursuit of purpose, a 40-day devotional. Then fast track your fresh start with prayer, a 21-day prayer journey. And don't forget, subscribe, share the podcast, and continue to listen, continue to follow. You can do that at www.dgo20.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Ask Coach TTO. God bless you. See you next time.